All right, let me try to trick you into answering a question. When when will Gemini 3 come out? <laughs> is it before or after GTA 6? The world <laughs> waits for both. And what does it take to go from 2.5 to 3.0? Because it seems like there's been a lot of releases of 2.5, which are already leaps in performance. Hmm. So what, what does it even mean to go to a new version? Is it about performance? Is it about a completely different flavor of an experience? Yeah, well, so the way it works with our different uh, version numbers is we, you know, we try to collect, so maybe it takes, you know, roughly six months or something to to do a new a kind of full run and the full productization of a new version. And during that time, lots of new interesting research iterations and ideas come up mm -hmm. and we sort of collect them all together that you know you could imagine the last six months worth of interesting ideas on the architecture front uh, maybe it's on the data front it's like many different possible things and we collect package that all up test which ones are likely to be useful for the next iteration and then bundle that all together and then we start the new you know giant hero training run right <laughs> yeah. and and then uh and then of course that gets monitored uh and then at the end then there's the of the pre-training then there's all the post-training there's many different ways of doing that different ways of patching it so there's a whole experimenting phase there which you can also get a lot of gains out and that's where you see the version numbers usually are referring to the base model the pre-trained mm -hmm. model and then the interim versions of 2.5 you know and the different sizes and the different little uh, additions they're often uh, patches or post training ideas that can be done afterwards uh, off the same basic architecture and then of course on top of that we also have different sizes pro and flash and flash light that are often distilled from the biggest ones you know the flash model from the pro model and that means we have a range of different choices if you are the developer of do you want to prioritize performance or speed right mm -hmm. and cost and we like to think of this pareto frontier of of you know on the one hand uh the y-axis is you know like performance and then the the, the x-axis is you know cost or latency and, and speed uh basically and we we have models that completely define the frontier so whatever your trade-off is that you want as an individual user or as a as a developer you should find one of our models satisfies that constraint so behind the version changes, there is a big hero run. Yes. And then there's a, just an insane complexity of productization. Then there's the distillation of the different sizes along that Pareto front. And then as it, with each step you take, you realize there might be a cool product. There's side quests. Yes, exactly. And, but And then you also don't want to take too many side quests because then you have a million versions of yes. a million products. Yes, precisely. Very, it's very unclear. Yeah. But you also get super excited because it's super cool. Yeah. Like how does even you look at VOs, very cool. Yeah. How does it fit into the bigger yes. thing? Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. And then you're constantly, this process of converging upstream, we call it, you know, ideas from the from the product surfaces or or, or from the post-training and and even further downstream than that, you, you kind of upstream that into the, the core model training for the next run, mm -hmm. right? So then the main model, the main Gemini track becomes more and more general mm -hmm. and eventually, you know, AGI. <laughs> <laughs> One hero run at a yes, time. Yes, <laughs> exactly. A few hero runs later. Uh...